Next, how razor wire is wired to fight back when you try to cross it. Depending on what side of the fence you're on, razor wire is designed to keep you in or out of high security areas like prisons, oil refineries, and nuclear power plants. The points in the barbs are sharp enough to puncture just about anything that tries to get through. Then, the razor sharp edges slice the intruder when the barbs are pulled out. The cuts can be lethal, and the wire is so strong it's nearly impossible to cut through it. But how can something made of thin strips of metal be this lethal and indestructible? Razor wire starts out as huge 2,500 pound rolls of shiny steel that are uncoiled and straightened so they can be cut into strips of sharp barbs. The steel is shiny because it's stainless steel or steel mixed with chromium to make it resistant to corrosion. Without that protection, the pointy ends of the barbs could be weakened or rust away. Despite the strength of the finished razor wire, the steel used to make the barbs is razor thin, just 25 thousandths of an inch thick. That's about the thickness of cardstock. To turn the steel coils into razor sharp barbs, a feeder pulls it into a 90 ton press. While spongy rollers spread oil across the steel to lubricate the blades inside the machine. The press bears down on a set of hardened steel cutting blades that slice through the steel to make strips of spiky razor wire. The pointed razor sharp barbs come out of the machine sharp enough to rip through clothing, heavy duty gloves and skin. It's already extremely dangerous and possibly lethal if touched. But with the right tools, it's possible to cut through the sharp strips. So they're rolled up on huge wheels and loaded into a machine to be reinforced with a wire made of carbon steel. It's thin wire, a little under a tenth of an inch thick. But the carbon steel is so strong, it takes 220,000 pounds of force per square inch to snap it. To combine the carbon steel with the barbed strips, the barbs are fed into a machine one strip at a time and spun out on the other end with the sturdy steel wire bonded to the barbs. Exactly how the two steels are joined together is a trade secret. But it's easy to see the steel wire. It runs like a spine down the center of the barb strip, making it harder to cut through or bend. The finished wire is collected and coiled up in 50-foot lengths. Once a coil is finished, a robot clips together the loops in the coil in various patterns to create an unpredictable hazard for intruders or escapees in the razor wire. Bundling the loops together is like spring-loading the sharp barbs to snap back if the wire or the clips are cut. Because the pattern changes, there's no way to know when or how the sharp barbs will fly. Take a look at how easily the sharp barbs cut through a t-shirt. Even a work glove is no protection against the razor sharp steel. So you can imagine how dangerous the barbs would be if they sprang loose. The clips are a deterrent against tampering with the razor wire and a last line of defense if it's ever broken or cut. Once the roll is clipped, the razor wire is ready. One or several rolls can be uncoiled along the ground quickly by dropping them from the back of a moving trailer. This type of deployment is used to secure national borders, control crowds during a riot, and to keep trespassers out of high security facilities. The razor wire can also be mounted to the top of fences for added security against an intruder or escapee going over the top. Just the sight of the razor wire is enough to deter most troublemakers. But for those who want to take it on, the wire is coiled and ready to strike back.